In this work, we present a method for generating accurate and feasible robot arm motions in real time. Our method, called Relaxed IK, matches a series of end effector pose goals in Cartesian space as best as possible without sacrificing motion feasibility. In contrast, Prior real-time motion synthesis approaches commonly exhibit issues that hinder either their accuracy or feasibility in practice. For example, when directly using an inverse kinematic solver at each update, like track IK seen here, the solver exhibits infeasible motion qualities such as self-collisions, kinematic singularities, and joint space discontinuities. Conversely, Real-time motion planning approaches do provide feasibility guarantees. However, the resulting motion plans often forego end effector pose precision in order to meet these feasibility constraints. In this example, this effect can be seen by the robot traversing a long arced motion to move a small distance in end effector space to avoid a self-collision. Our method not only exhibits feasible motions that avoid self-collisions, kinematic singularities, and joint space discontinuities, but also exhibits accurate motions that consistently match end effector pose goals. To achieve these numerous objectives on the fly, we supplement the standard IK formulation as a weighted sum nonlinear optimization problem such that motion goals in addition to end effector pose matching can be encoded as terms in the sum. We present a normalization procedure such that our method is able to effectively make trade-offs to simultaneously reconcile many potentially competing objectives. The weighted sum objective function and a set of constraints are provided to a constrained nonlinear optimization solver at each update where a new robot configuration is calculated. For details on all the terms and constraints in our formulation, please see the paper or come talk to me at the poster session. But for this talk, I'll specifically highlight our collision avoidance term. Our collision avoidance term is trying to achieve two goals. One, approximate a distance to a collision state, and two, Calculate this approximate distance as fast as possible such that it is amenable for use in a real-time optimization loop. We first approximate a distance to a collision state by abstracting the robot's geometry into shape primitives or line segments such that we can more easily perform distance checking between all pairs of links. The resulting function from this procedure is robust, but it is too slow for real-time use. So, our central idea here is that we can randomly sample hundreds of thousands of instances of this collision potential function and train a neural network to approximate the function instead. The neural network successfully resembles the output from the potential function, but it is two orders of magnitude faster to just do a feed-forward pass through the network, making this plenty fast enough to serve as a single term in our objective function. We evaluated our method against alternative real-time motion synthesis approaches on seven robot platforms, ranging from 5 degrees of freedom to 8 degrees of freedom, on five separate tasks. We used two different parameter settings of our Relax IK solver in the evaluation, one designed to be more accurate and one designed to exhibit more motion feasibility. Looking at the aggregated results, we found that both Relax IK instances were more feasible and afforded smoother motion than both alternatives. And Relax IK A was found to be more accurate on average than both alternatives as well. We have demonstrated the effectiveness of our real time motion synthesis method in prior work, such as a teleoperation method that retargets human arm motion to any robot arm motion on the fly as well as a dynamic robot camera method that automatically provides an optimal viewpoint for a remote teleoperator. So, in this work, we have shown that our method for generating robot arm motions in real time exhibited more accurate and feasible motions compared to alternative approaches. We provide open source code that implements our RelaxIK method and the link for that can be found here. I'll be happy to take any questions after the session or at the poster session.